Hey guys. Initially this video was supposed to be something like, how to download official Windows 11 ISO, or how to dual boot Windows 10 and Windows 11, but fate gave me a better opportunity. It all went down like this. In order to download the ISO, I had to log into Windows Insider program, and because of that, two days later, my laptop made itself a Windows 11 update, and with that, also my video opportunity was gone. And because there was nothing left for me to do on my main laptop, I decided to bring in the dinosaur. Because, why not? I hope that by me installing Windows 11 on this 12 years old piece of hardware wonder, with first generation i3 dual core processor, legacy BIOS, no GPT, no UEFI, no DirectX 12 or WDDM2, should calm the minds and spirits of all those who still doubt their device's capability of running Windows 11. So, with all this being said, let's jump into the video. But first, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so you won't miss any of my future videos. Let's start with downloading the official Windows 11 ISO. Go to insider.windows.com and log in with your Microsoft account. If you don't have a Microsoft account, you need to create one. Once logged in, scroll down, and on the right side you will see a blue square. And in that section you need to click on ISOs. On the new page, you have to do more scrolling until you reach Select Edition. Here you need to choose between Windows 11, Dev or Beta. I, personally, chose the Dev version. Click on Confirm, select your language, Confirm again, and you will receive a 64-bit download option. Click on it to start downloading your ISO. Once the download is complete, you need to flash the ISO on a USB with a tool that helps format and create bootable USB drives. Best for this sort of this are Rufus or Bellina Etcher. Or, my new favorite, Ventoy, which allows you to create a multi-bootable USB drive, where you can store more operating systems, without any formatting needed. If you want to know more about Ventoy, check the link in the description. Once your bootable USB is ready, go to the target PC, and enter in the boot menu. You can enter in the boot menu by pressing Escape, F2, F10, or F12, depending on the manufacturer. The specific key to press is usually specified on the computer's startup screen. Select your USB, and, if you are using Ventoy, select the Windows 11 ISO. If you are using Rufus or Bellina Etcher, then Windows 11 will start automatically. Like with any other Windows installation, first you need to select the language, time and currency, and keyboard layout. As expected, at this point, the warning that this PC can't run Windows 11, pops out. To bypass this problem, close the window, press Shift plus F10, and in the command prompt, type regedit. Go to, H key, local machine, then system, then setup. And here, right click and add a new key. Name the new key, lab config. And inside, with right click, add 2D words. First name it bypass TPM check, and set its value to 1, and second, name it bypass a cure boot check, and set the value also to 1. When you are done, close the rejected and the common prompt and go on with the installation. From this point you should not encounter other problems, and the installation should go on like any other Windows installation.
That's it. Windows 11 is now installed on your device, no matter how old or incompatible it is. However, that doesn't mean that your old laptop will run smooth. It will be actually very slow. You can, in theory, install Windows 11, but I do not recommend it. Instead, try other operating systems, like Chrome OS, Fide OS or Android and Linux. They will run smooth on an old laptop, and they are actually fun. To see what operating systems you can install, and how to install them, on an old device, you can check the links in the description.